And welcome, people. Welcome to a, another episode of Feed the Beast testing. And today I've actually got something a little different than I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be looking at the memory usage of the mod pack. So there's actually been some questions as to what type of Java settings are needed to get good performance in Minecraft, and it's a actually a discussion that's fairly active, um, at least between me, IMAS, and a couple of others. Just starting up the mod pack, and at this point I'm only at the uh, this screen. We have just about a hundred megabytes of code space used, and about 260 megabytes of tenured space, space used. Over here, the ratio between these numbers is 4 to 1. The default is 8, is 8 to 1. But when it's 8 to 1, these survivor spaces are too small and constantly fill and overflow. So I dropped it to a ratio of 4 to make the survivor spaces bigger. So the question that we're looking at, that I'm looking at, is what type of memory settings make the best playing for Minecraft? And in particular, I'm trying to make sure that this number, allocated space for tenured, does not go up excessively. Okay. We have just gotten on, I have just gotten on the server. It's almost noon, so I've lost about half a cat. Hello, jaded cat. So yes. <laughs> so, as I said, when I last was on, it was sunrise, now it's midday. We have a new base set up, so the first thing I'm going to do is basically try to move over to the new base and join everybody else. So I will see you when I'm at the new base and met up with people. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. So I was just on for a couple of minutes and got off. Nothing much happening, but uh, just pointing out when I logged off, there was a full garbage collection. And it dropped to 260 megabytes used for tenure from 316. Allocated is up to 456. So it's allocating a lot of memory, more than it needs to, which means it's not doing garbage collection. It looks like, I should say, it looks like I, uh, with the default settings, it is not doing garbage collections often enough or aggressively enough. I'm going to take a look through the log and see what's going on. So this is the point where I logged on to the server. As you can see, before I logged on, 250, 260 megabytes of space was in use. Logging on, it does a full garbage collection, drops down to 218 megabytes. So with all the junk cleared out, it takes 218 megabytes to load up the mod pack before loading a map or anything else. Notice that tenured space allocated increases. So the point here is simply that the memory usage is going up. We knew this. I'm just looking at an idea of how much it's going up. Interestingly, just about three seconds later, it does another garbage collection. This time it does not change allocated tenured space, but it does change allocated new memory space. 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 6, 2. And here we see the point at which the memory usage goes up. This is the tail end of a CMS garbage collection. It goes from using 336 megabytes down to 273, but it allocates 
changes from 360 megabytes to 460 megabytes. Basically, with CMS, every time it decides that it needs to do a collection, it generally waits until it's so full that it's going to allocate more memory. So the allocated memory is just going to keep going up and up. This is where it started. So as you can see, it's normal starting operation. We want 4.4 megabytes in Survivor. And we've got two megabytes here, three and a half megabytes here, 4.1 here. So it's not overflowing Survivor, but just saying, I need more memory. And it's going to do that every time we have a full collection with the default with the default arguments. All right, so I'm going to show the changes that I'll be making from my launch flags. As I said before, I changed the survivor ratio to four. The next thing I'm going to do is explicit garbage collection invokes concurrent and unloads classes. That gets rid of the lag whenever you change dimensions or connect to a server or disconnect from a server. Then they, I'm going to tell the, um, the garbage collector to start a little earlier at 75% full and maintain a minimum free space. So this should result in it collecting more frequently and allocating less. And the rest is just the logging options. All right, let's look around the base. Nice room. Engine room. Ah, I'm using stock Minecraft. The kitchen. Now, how do the agriculture things work? Yes, it's definitely raining. So there's a processor, an oven, some counters, and a fryer. Can you explain what's on the wall? Are those paint buckets? Ah, water filled clay buckets. So you toss dirt on it, and sometimes you get bait. Note that in the chat log, someone had the idea of using creepers to blow up cobble to get an early furnace. Jaded has already said that will be prevented. If we look at the recipe for a sifter, note that it is sticks, wood, and string, and more sticks. What else can you do with bait? Or the grasshoppers?
What is a trophy for? The thing? An automatic smell tree? Nightfall. Ah, outside. The bed notice kind of overwrites where things are located. And we have one last little bit of recording to do tonight. This is after about an hour and 12 minutes of play. And this is the memory usage when I am logging off. Note that I go from about 290 megabytes used down to 270. <clears throat> Code, I was a little bit of a classes unloaded, not much, doesn't really change much. Allocated space for tenured is significantly less after an hour and 12 minutes of play than it was just logging on and logging off with the, with the default settings. Now, one drawback, one disadvantage is that the new generation is only 26 yeah, 26 megabytes, of which only 5 megabytes is survivor space. And with 5 megabytes of survivor space, the target survivor survivor size of 2.5 megabytes. Um, I know from experience that that's perfectly fine if you're sitting around and not moving. But if you're loading chunks, it's not sufficient. The new space needs to be nudged upward, and there's no good way to do that, unfortunately. All right, so that is the initial memory analysis and the Java flags that keep the memory usage down. There was no significant issue with performance while I was playing. And that's all for tonight. And I apologize for the highly technical nature of the majority of this episode. I will see you next time. And remember, if you like what you saw, press the like button. If you don't like what you saw, press the dislike button. Your likes and dislikes are the most important thing that you can do. And your comments are also important. And I do read all of them. Yes, I even read the comments about spawn protection. And I won't make that mistake for at least another year. Thank you. Good night.